What is going on everyone and welcome to Death Trap. My name is John and before we get into the game I want to discuss a little bit about this. So it is made by Neocore Games as you may know they created The Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing and like a King Arthur game that I've never played. But I'm a big fan of Neocore Games especially when it comes to their Van Helsing game. I currently have the most viewed let's play on YouTube and that's pretty cool so I did get a chance to see this game it is currently in early access and I usually don't cover early access games because well you're kinda getting an incomplete game at the moment but Neocore has my trust they have a lot of work into it and um, full disclosure I did get a copy of this game today but I did want to show my support to the developers, so I will be buying a copy and giving it to you, or one copy on Steam, away to somebody, I'll pick a winner in about a week. All you have to do is let me know you want it, and yeah. So before we get into the options menu, um, since this is an early access game, I'll be showing you something that is like what they're going to do in development of this game. So hold on while I switch this. Okay, so as you can see right here, this is the development roadmap. Today is the 22nd, it currently just released on Steam. So as you may know, this is what they have so far and what they plan on doing in the future. So that's pretty cool, they give you a little guide. So let's get back into the game right now. If you wanted to read that, go ahead. Um, so there's an editor, I don't know if that works right now but we're going into the options menu immediately. So, languages, only English apparently right now. And these are pretty standard RPG kind of things, options you can have. I usually don't auto equip, it just gets annoying later on in the game. And everything here is pretty good. Music, audio, good. I have to say the audio is pretty nice, I do like it. Um, you can adjust the brightness. We will play. We'll be playing on ultra settings. Everything will very high, I guess. And we're going to go into the advanced settings, which is a lot of options. Um, okay, so all of these pretty good. This is a tower defense kind of game. Just keep that in mind. And there's a lot of options. There's a yeah. We'll keep it on sixty a lot of options um, usually I like to keep it on no v-sync because well, I think this is capped at 60 and I'm I assume there shouldn't be anything but if there is like screen tearing I'll notice it and I'll turn it on so that's a pretty good set of options right there and as for controls you could use a controller but keep in mind this is early access I don't know if it works so I will be playing this with the keyboard and mouse as default. So with that said, if this is interesting enough for you right now, we are going to create a character. As you may know, they're going to be adding more in the future, but it's currently day one. And when the game does come out in the future, I would say early January. That's when they said it was going to come out on their Steam Early Access pages as whenever. So as I showed you before. We'll be playing the Sorceress because it is the only one available. And we'll be doing that. Excellent. And if you wanted to check it out, there's probably this on the website as well. And I guess I could show you the editor, why not? It's just creating your own maps and all that stuff. It's not even available right now. But right now, I think they have three missions available that we could check out, so we will be going on with that. I just picked one, but okay. Whoops. Alright, so there is a single player co-op and these are coming soon versus but as always, we're going to be doing the single player game. All right, we'll go over to the tutorials because this is the first time I'm actually looking through it as well. 
So hopefully this interests you. And if you are interested, I will leave a link in the description to the buy page and all the extra info you could read up on as well. And once again, it's a tower defense kind of game. Pretty standard stuff. Click here. Difficulty. All right, so I guess this is the only one available right now. Um, I guess we'll play. We'll play on the default normal. Why not? All right, so fight waves of monsters. Yes, pretty standard. X. Press X to continue. Okay, so this is kind of where you build the tower. If you remembered in uh, my playthrough of Van Helsing, there are kind of mini side missions like this where you just place towers and you build traps here and then they just wreck it. Okay, so I, the red line is the path they need to go to cross everything and we're going to build some traps. middle click so this is the only one we have right now an acid geisher and I assume if they walk over it damage happens and this one is a gun sentry so on your map they come from here their objective is to destroy this and your goal is to defend this excellent uh, let's see we have a hundred and then this is our hero. It's kind of standard. Okay, so we want. Uh, I don't. I might have to change it. Not sure how I feel about the middle mouse, but that's okay. And this is also fifty. All right, so we could. We're out of money right now, and now we could start the battle, defend it. Um, these are hotkeys one and two. They also do skill damage as well. Okay, so your goal is also to not die. So every time you kill something, you get a little bit of essence, which might be hard. What is that button? Q. Okay. Pretty standard. Too bad they don't have an auto cast, or maybe they do, but I just am not seeing it right now. The music is pretty good, I like it. Nice. Next wave, going to. Oh, okay. So, after every level, if you are aware of tower defenses, they're they usually come in mul multiple spots, so you're going to want to defend the area. And this seems like a good spot because they all have to come down here anyway. Um, let's see. You can, can you upgrade this one? No. So right now you can't upgrade them. That's like only one level towers only, so... They're going to be coming from two different ways and towers over here. So what my objective is right now is to defend the center of the area because they both cross in the intersection. So let's start that one. Let's go. Try not to take too much damage while we're in the process of it. So now they're coming from both ways now. I think our towers right now are set up fairly well. So we should only have to watch one way. Gold. Wait. There we 
go. We're looking. Uh oh, this is actually. Questionable. Okay, we're we're fine. Just make sure to uh, watch that one. A boss area. A boss in this area. Not too bad. Just get away from the poison. Nice healing potion. Okay, so they're gonna come from both ways now. I assume later on in the game we're gonna be given the option to upgrade. So we want them to get slowed around here. And then... Do I want a tower or... Yeah, that'll be fine. Alright, so... Wave three of three, let's start it up. So honestly, the right now, you don't really need that many buttons. All you need is your one, two, three, four, and stuff, and then house. Okay. Then the center needs the most or the right side needs the most attention right now. Um, I think. Oh, we're okay. This side is. I like how they have a huge health bar. It makes it look like it's a boss. It usually, it only show it for major enemies. Yeah, I might have to switch it out of a uh, middle mouse soon. Not sure how I feel about that, because like it scrolls down and up when you do that. Uh oh, boss fight. Oh. So much gold. Nice, a two star. <clears throat> Sweet. So I assume you can upgrade, or not upgrade, just like equip stuff. Um, 28. That one is garbage. Excellent. Nice. So after that, I it doesn't teleport you anywhere. You just manually leave. All right, so that was pretty cool. Um, now we get skills. There's so many options. Um, towers are good. I would assume we want those, but then combat skills are also pretty good. So which one do we want? What are world skills? Oh, interesting. That one is pretty solid. All right, so. We have three points available and. <laughs> Seems pretty good. It's saved, right? I'm just gonna make sure, okay. And traps, we have to. We have eight points. So increases damage or reset time. I don't wait. Hold on. What is the reset? Oh god. Hold on. Um, I do want one of these. Storm ruin. Gun sentries are good. <laughs> I think they did the most work actually. And then 
I assume we have to like progress through the game, yeah. We have to actually do bonus objectives to do that. And in the store, these reset quite often, every hour. That's pretty cool. Okay, so. <laughs> Coming soon in early access. I assume these are like collectibles and all the stuff you just read up on. Um, so I think we're good. Let's start up on mission two. Uh, we can only do that. So default normal as usual. It's not too hard actually. Ink portals. Those are familiar. Um, not so they cross through here. I would assume the key point would be right here. Too bad you can't upgrade them yet. Either that or I'm just missing something. Usually, if there wasn't that there, I would put it right here because I think I could defend the area fairly well. And let's start up wave one. So first impressions of this is this game kind of looks like Van Helsing, which is not bad at all. I do like the graphics. And then tower defense. Okay. The so next thing I want to upgrade after is one of these towers so they could uh, start doing DPS as soon as possible. There are no mana potions, there's just... Whoa, stay on the line, bro. Lightning thing does a lot. I need to start upgrading that other tower. One. Wait. Oh no! It doesn't stay on the path! Wait, can you lure it back then? I'm not sure if this is intentional, but they like... If you walk around here, they get off the path, so you can like reset them. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> what is this? Uh, a shrine, okay. So, you can only use these once per... now they're gonna be coming out of the other way so our best idea these ink portals just teleport you from like here to here I believe if I remember correctly um, well they do have to come out of here the trap over here would be good I'm not really sure why that's there because they go off track so you might as well so there's 75 enemies, these are what is here. They're starting from the right side. Huh. Kill that one as soon as possible. Let our mana recharge. This is like the thing you saw in the trailer if you watched it. Demon thingy. Oh, sh now they're coming from the other side. Probably. Oh, not enough. Let me try to kill that boss really quickly. Okay, last line of defense. Moon staff. Get a not enough for a turret yet. 
And if you're like, I'm in an emergency, I could just use the icy wind thingy to like slow everything down and just DPS it, but so far, no problems. Now the left side. Also, if you are enjoying this game, you might want to check out my Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing 2. Let's play, I'll leave a link in the description to that as well. Made by the same people, and obviously. Ugh, the poison thingy. It's annoying. Oh, that's actually kind of bad. Try to lure them all on here. Nice. We'll just leave that one alone for now. We'll be fine. So far, not in any real danger. Excellent. Oh, that's a boss, I think. Wait, we can lure him back. There we go. I kind of like that mechanic, but I think it might screw me over every so often. Alright, so... They're gonna still come from two areas. Going to make another trap here. And I think this side almost leaked, so... We'll have to watch for that one. And the lightning... Oh, not enough. Oh, do we? Yeah, we do have enough. No, oh, never mind. Those are 100. So, I guess before we start, is there another tower? I'm not really sure which one is in more of a... I guess we'll do that one. Start it up. So far, zero leaks. I don't... I'm not sure why they placed that one there. With uh, no upgrades to range is very questionable. That should be fixed later on. I would assume. These have a lot of health. Whoa! Did not see you there. Zero! It's actually kinda. I did not see that whole area. Did not know that was a path. That's okay. I can still. Just in case of emergencies. I got this. Should probably scout out the area <laughs> before doing this. Pro life tip. Okay. So we have 52 now. I will add another tower here. 